morning. I'm coming to you a little differently than I usually do, which is I got makeup on in the morning. You know those days, it's it's a holiday, right? So a lot of things are closed. And I'm thinking, oh, I really want to wash my hair and get that done and then go about my day. But the other part of me says, I really want to get another color in the reboot. And I want to run down to Sephora really quickly. And then while I'm there, I'm going to run a couple of other errands, so I haven't washed my face, I haven't done my skincare. I just put on a foundation and did my under eyes. I continued to experiment with different methods, and I wanted to give the cover effects a try because I've worn this twice already on camera, and I like it. It's quite shiny, but everything I use is quite shiny, but they say you can put this on top of makeup. So, I can't think of a better way. You know, this is just my, I gotta run an errand face. I'll put on a little lip because I look a little dead. If this ruins it, it's not the end of the world. So let's take Cover Effects Booster Drops with SPF to the test. Now, usually I do about 12 drops. That's what you need to get the coverage. Well, that's what I'm assuming you need. You need a quarter of a teaspoon, and I'm not really sure how to measure this. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten because I am going to come home and wash my hair. But I don't want to go out. I haven't done any of my skincare, which is why I'm looking so matte. There's no moisturizer, nothing. Moment of truth. Let me pull you in. Okay, here she is. Now, of course, you're still going to be shiny if you put this on top of your makeup. But let's see. Cover Effects made another sunscreen that I was really into, and they took it off the market. And it's very similar to what Supercoop has right now, and someone else has it as well, where it's completely clear. Um, it smelled really weird, but they stopped making it. And it did kind of explode <laughs> in the summertime. It got really hot when I took off the cap, it had exploded within the cap, so I wanted to get a new one, but they didn't have any, which was weird, and then all of a sudden it was gone, but it was something you absolutely could put on top of your makeup, and it didn't move it, it was remarkable, and you know what, I look shiny as I'll get out, but if this has not broken up my makeup, How oh, interesting. I mean, how do I have rub off here when I haven't even put on my glasses since I, I put on my makeup? <laughs> Let's just fix that. This is crazy. I am going to smile. From that, I grabbed a screenshot, so I'm going to blow it up a little bit because this is as close as my lens can get. and show you what these pictures look like. This, this is really interesting. I'm gonna change and go run some errands and come back and see how this is holding up. I'm back. It's about two hours later. Of Ransom Errands, one of the places I went was Sephora. I put on the Melt Millennial Pinks palette. I just don't... It's fine, but you know what? Well, I put something else on here, actually. But if you have the Denona palette, I, I don't think you need it. I did swatch them together, and I found that the Millennial was a little bit deeper in its pale pink and a little bit deeper in its medium pink. And, of course, Denona doesn't have that um, gray or the black, but I don't really like them with gray and black, and I can't do a halo with gray or black because it'll just make everything go, <laughs> make my eyes look too small. So, how's the skin look? The skin looks fine. My foundation doesn't appear to have broken up. It doesn't look like it's breaking up. 
That's really interesting. My conclusion is, if you happen to have bought these, and I have a feeling I could be wrong, I bet the cover effects is going to continue to be on sale since Sephora is discontinuing the line. Uh, the line itself, not, but they're not going to carry it anymore. You might want to get these. I do find that it did apply fine over the makeup. And it doesn't make me sensitive. If you're oily, you're not going to like this feeling. But the oil in the ingredients list is quite low. It's mostly dimethicones. But I know if you're oily, just the idea of it is going to be displeasing to you because it will leave you so shiny. On the other hand, on the other end of the spectrum, if you are dry and you think you're going to get moisture out of this, you're not. It's not incredibly emollient, really. Um, it's not like I think of the Josie Marin moisturizer with the sunscreen. That does moisturize, that is encased in oil. This, I would not say, oh, I'm going to skip my moisturizer and go for this. I do the moisturizer anyway. But anyway, it's worth seeing if you can get a sample of it at least and give it a go. And yeah, over makeup and under makeup. And, you know, I don't mind the finish at all. I'm going to move you in so you can see what's going on. And that's it. Yay! I know it's a shorty. Sometimes the shorties are the best. I hope it was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. In the meantime, I'm wishing you a great day.